The Love That Is True by Paul Chilson. This story is about you and someone who loves you very much. This is a true story. It is the story about why you are here. This story begins long before all other stories. Before the beginning of all that we see, there was only God as a family of three. And the love that flowed between the three was the truest love that could ever be. God wanted to share the love that is true. And knowing all things, he knew just what to do. All time and all space, all matter and light, God spoke, and they suddenly burst into sight. Then God the Father, Holy Spirit and Son, the three parts of God that are perfectly one, created the angels to help in the plan. He made them of spirit to serve God and man. But that was not everything God had in store. He made billions of galaxies, stars, and much more. And as the angels all watched in surprise, God took one small planet and made it his prize. God spoke and created the plants and the trees, the badger, the beaver, the bear and the bees, the dolphin, the donkey, the deer and the dog, the falcon, the ferret, the fox and the frog. Yet God was not done. He then made the first man, from dirt and from spirit, to rule on the land. God loved each of them, but sadly he knew that not all would trust in the love that is true. Some of the angels did not like God's plan. They fought against God and his deep love of man. So there was a battle in heaven that day. God threw out the angels who wouldn't obey. The bad angels tell us God's love isn't true, that God couldn't possibly love me or you. Rejecting God's love makes our soft hearts turn hard. We sin and grow hollow, lonely, and scarred. Yet God knew a way that could help people see the love that is true, which could set us all free. So God sent his Son down from heaven above. He sent baby Jesus to show us his love. When Jesus grew up, he started to teach that the love that is true is not out of reach. His love and his teaching show us the way. Love God, love each other, and try to obey. But most did not trust in what God had to say. And we killed God's son on a terrible day. God knew about this from before time began. And Jesus' death was all part of the plan. God's Son paid the price for our terrible sin and opened the door for God's love to shine in. After three days, Jesus rose from the dead. I love you. I'll be with you always, he said. Now tell all the people that I love them too. I'll be up in heaven, preparing for you. When you love God back with your heart, mind, and soul, forgiving your sins, he will make your life whole. And God's Holy Spirit will live in your heart, which gives you the power to make a new start. We practice true love for God and each other as a church where we are all sister and brother. For Jesus has shown us that God's love is real. The love that is true can fix and can heal. God wants you to grow and to love more each day, to learn about him from the Bible and pray. And always remember the love that is true by forgiving others as God forgives you. And then, on the day that our life here is done, we'll enter a kingdom as bright as the sun, 
with Jesus and good friends and adventure too. We'll share in God's love, the love that is true. Yeah!